Amy here. I don't know how this is gonna work, guys. I'm about to pack for two weeks in New Hampshire with Amy. She is a stylist and kind of like a closet coordinator. She just helps you learn your closet well, comes up with great styles, great deals, great buys. Go check her out. I'll put her, whatever it's called, bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Hey everyone, my name is Mackenzie Thibodeau. For those of you who do not know me, I do all things food, fashion, travel, New England, and beyond. And this week, I have a unique opportunity to go to New Hampshire. For those of you who know my closet, it is an absolute horrendous mess. No problem there. But I did invite a friend to come help me pack for two weeks in nothing but a duffel bag. Let me show you the bag, and then I'm gonna show you my friend. This is the duffel bag we are gonna be packing. It's gonna be great, because I'm an overpacker. When I go to Brazil, I went 25 pounds over. I have my friend Amy here. I don't know how this is gonna work. I just wanted to introduce you. Tell me a little bit about what you do, how you do it. My name is Amy Perry and Moran. I am a wardrobe stylist and I am here to help women who have some difficulty like finding clothes they want to put together, outfit piece they want to go out with, they want to go packing and they're not sure if mm -hmm. they pack these items or if it's too much or if you know if you're an underpacker or sometimes we all can be overpackers so I'm here to help strategize and work together and help build their little capsule wardrobe we would say when they go on their vacation. Not does she only help with capsule wardrobes when people go on vacation but you help with capsule wardrobes if women are just trying to downsize their life, be more minimalist, be more efficient. If you guys don't know she has an awesome Instagram. She has an incredible like I love love I was just telling her her emails are phenomenal. They're like perfectly written, great tips, tricks for just knowing how to survive season changes, wardrobe changes without totally breaking the budget. I think I started following you when you were doing a, I bet my husband X amount of dollars that I won't spend any money this month. And it was so funny. And I think that's what made me just so interested to like, who is Amy and, wh and what does she do? I'm gonna set up Amy somewhere over here and we're just gonna talk through what I can put in this duffel bag to last me two full weeks. She has this really great trick for when you're trying to be minimalist while packing on vacation. I have been sharing this tip for many of my clients and my friends and it's called the 54321 strategy. It's a great strategy for those who are traveling to locations that it might be like a week to two weeks and sometimes even three weeks and if you have a place where you do laundry this strategy is like the perfect ideal one to go for. Five means tops, like it could be sweaters, t-shirts, layering um, tanks, it can be anything with a top. Four is more pants and it can be combined like to either skirts or dresses, you can mix and match. Here's uh, three pairs of shoes. Two, it can go for like a jacket because sometimes the weather can be cool and we kind of like want to wear like, you know, jean jacket or a moto jacket. Or if you're going on like a nice beach trip, it can be like a bathing suit. It does scare me a little bit, I'll be honest, because I am the person who packs, not only did I pack a full size suitcase that was 25 pounds overweight, I also packed my fiance's suitcase with my things. So it's definitely a challenge for me. And that was, like, I'm serious guys, that was for two weeks in Brazil. This one's gonna be a challenge for me, but I think we can do it. And I think you can help me kind of make the right decisions about this. Absolutely, I'm here to help. All so. right, perfect. So should we start with tops? Is that where we should start? Narrow down colors, okay. and then you kind of pick a handful of colors. Okay. That's the pick out and it's easier to mix and match with. Should I be less patterns? Should it be clothes that I love to wear? I'm only picking five tops. I would definitely say if you have five tops, I usually would pick a few that are solids mm. and then maybe some of your bottoms are another top. Be a pattern. So okay. that kind of gives you a little bit of spice and excitement. And when you mix in layers and mix colors, it does help with the appeal yeah. of your outfit make it seem so boring. This is currently my favorite top and it is spring but I feel like New Hampshire is so much more woodsy that it's okay to not be wearing super springy colors so I feel like I need this top because when I don't know what to wear I wear this so I think that would be a really good one to just throw with me so I think I'm gonna add that one. Guys I'm gonna make a pile and then I'll show you what it looks like and see if we can fit it in the luggage later. Love this crop. I actually probably am picking it because I wore it in New Hampshire last time I was there, which was the fall and when I bought it. So anyway, there's this one. Okay, this is really hard because I just love clothes. <laughs> you know what? This is another good one because it can layer with jackets. Standard, beige. This is tough. I actually love this. this means, I feel like I should just get rid of all the other clothes that I'm not picking because it means I don't love it that much. <laughs> this is another one that 
I could wear like all the time. It's long sleeve. Um, I'm picking a lot of crop tops, but that's because I love crops, so I just have to make sure I bring high-waisted pants. Should we pick something more fun? I feel like I'm gonna go through stuff and then wish I grabbed something different. It can always change as we go. Going outdoors, is it gonna be more indoors? It's gonna be a mix. That's okay. true. And we are gonna go to dinner, so I can't just do super casual stuff. This is me, this is us. When you have a hundred, literally over a hundred hangers in your closet, and then drawers, but feel like you have nothing to pick. Why do we do this? Loads of stuff. Literally loads of it. This is kind of my jackets. Flannel. Shorts. Normally this is a little more organized. This could be nice. I like that one. That's it's, pretty. Yeah, it's a little nicer maybe for dinner. Right, that's four already. Four shirts. We're going to say four or five shirts. What's the next one on our ticker? Denims and skirts are dressed. So four. I have this denim skirt. I'm, I obs skirt. I'm obsessed with this denim skirt. The last four outfits on on Instagram have been this denim skirt and they will just continue to go. But this one is super great because it goes with everything and it's a skirt so it's a little, I don't know, fancier. <laughs> Should I do another denim? You can do pick one? like black pants. Mm. Um, I know some, if you want to get cozy, you can do even black leggies or certain mm. type of leggings. Oh, that's smart. How do you plan for pajamas? You just pack a pair of pajamas. Okay. <laughs> How do I include this? They're black pants. And they're super soft, so they have a thick waistband. Can I bring fancy pants? If they go with all your tops and you can mix and match them, I said go for it. Where do jumpsuits fit in the mix? The four piece where you can do that. Mm -hmm. We are doing, just in case, oh, do you think this is a bad choice because it's very fancy? Love that. Jumpsuit in case we go to dinner. I'm going to get to New Hampshire and be like, Amy, help me. I've run out of outfit ideas. I should probably do another pants. I like how you're very like flexible with all of your like bottoms and you're you're trying different ways and you're like, oh I like this one and it kinda like I step back and let the my friends and say like, oh this would look really cute. So I kinda like see what they're thinking is. That's what you have to be when you're packing light. You gotta be flexible. The way I pack and this is how I overpack is I do a one for one. I need one outfit for every day and I need a top that matches bottoms. You already have 28 pieces. That doesn't include shoes, it doesn't include pajamas. <laughs> I'm gonna do these beige pants because they go with everything. I need to bring a sweater. What about sweatshirts? Does that go under pajamas? We'll come back to additional top. We'll see what comes, we'll see if something makes sense as we go. Pairs of shoes. I recommend for woodsy, cozy shoe choices to get you through. I was in Florida with my family and when you have the same amount, like the same type of climate, it's much easier to mix and match your clothes. So I, for example, for Florida, I would have maybe a pair of tennis shoes, some slides, flip flops, because those were super comfortable mm -hmm. and wear them all out without having an issue. So we're going to New Hampshire and it's going to be kind of rainy, chilly. You want kind of maybe have your feet covered and have some socks, which you don't have to count the number of socks. <laughs> Sneakers, if you're like, you know, just walking outside, but hiking, maybe hiking boots mm -hmm. if you're like really outdoorsy. Sneakers, definitely for sure. Maybe boots. Because it will get probably chilly at night. And then mm -hmm. maybe some fancy shoes if you're going out to a fancy dance with your fiancé. If I bring heels, I'm down to two casual shoes. This is a challenge. I'm going to bring the nude heels. Nude heels go with everything. I actually wanted to bring these ones. But these ones just go with literally everything. Black. I so like I black. feel like the black Timberlands versus the other Timberlands. That shoe's got to be sneakers. I can't even believe I'm doing this. Only I bring like 10 pairs of shoes everywhere I go. It's so hard, I know. It is and so hard. And I'm like, it takes up so much weight and it takes up a lot of space it, too. So. Yes, it's so much weight. I think I should bring my workout sneakers in case there's walking or hiking. My Brooks Adrenaline. Wearing these shoes since I was like 16. Got booties, heels, and sneakers. I can't even believe this. All right, what is next on our list? The two usually is like jackets. So, but the thing is about the five, four, three, two, one. You can change out. Like maybe you don't want all four bottoms. Maybe you can switch out four pairs of shoes and three mm. bottoms. That's what I like about this the strategy. And then two, since the weather's kind of consistent, mm. if it's be like a rain jacket mm -hmm. and another jacket to a jacket be a great idea. I'm trying to look at the colors I have and make sure that they relatively match. This is tough, especially if I need a rain jacket. I'm looking at my shackets right now. The problem with my shackets is they're all kinds of colors and they're plaid. For the most part, they're patterned. And I have blazers, but I don't know if I want to wear a blazer in New Hampshire. Rainy and could be humid. Like, ah! <laughs> I get excited. I think. I think my new favorite color is beige. <laughs> shackets are so good. 
And this will go with my red shirt, the rough shirt. It might be too beigey for the beige tank top, which, but that's okay. It could even go over the black shirt. I don't know if the patterns would clash too much, but we can play. Also, I got this in New Hampshire last time I was there. I do a lot of shopping. <laughs> Maybe to play it safe, we just do black denim jacket. We love, we love denim. Denim on denim. Maybe I'll swap out the black jacket for a raincoat when I find it. I think it's downstairs. And then what is the one again? Maybe anything really. And for me, it was like bathing suit. Florida, I had two bathing suits and then one jacket. So it can be uh, anything. What I like about it, you're like, okay, what's one thing I can take? It could be the pajamas. It could be anything you want. You feel like there's some maybe additional item you want to grab. I feel like that's really good if you decide between two items and then you're just like, you know what? I'm just going to pack it to pack it. I think there's a color scheme. <laughs> this is beige. It's like a long sweater, which is co super cozy, and it will match everything. <laughs> but I think this is good because I don't have any dresses, so I could wear this. A scarf with it. It's like chilly. yeah, Maybe patterns with the scarf. Yep. Yeah. Elevate it with a different texture. Oh, for sure. That's five, four, three, two, one. I still have one top if I want it, or I can mix it up. Yes. What do you guys think? I do another top. Something like a pattern, a different, because we was said you were worried about it being boring or like, oh, I didn't feel like I'm wearing the same outfits every single time, but maybe mm. I can have a pop of color. This is not a pop of color, but it is a pattern. It's fun, and it has glitter, glitter uh, thread. I love the texture of the house, too. It's so cute. I love it. But it's also a set. So that's two pieces. So I, do I just bring the jacket? And the best part is, it's like you might decide on one item and you're like, oh, I don't know if I want that. Yeah. It's not like, sure. And then you're like, maybe I don't want to change. I have people change outfits at the last minute because of either weather or change of uh, events. It, it happens all the time. That's what life does. I always do pop of color. Me, like textures, the only texture I usually go or pattern is either sometimes like the Dalmatian print, not the polka dot print. Right. More like, or it's like solids now. I feel like the solids Ooh. with like still like what I usually go for. I think we're gonna do a swap a Rooney here. I'm gonna, put, All right. I'm gonna put my set back, but what we're gonna change is I'm gonna grab this black tank top, but I'm gonna swap it for something I put down, I don't know yet what, and then add my sweater because I'm just convinced it's gonna be cold. So this is my pop of color, and then black as always. This one will be harder to layer with. Yep because it has the mesh sleeves. Tank top would look good layering with any of those jackets. You know one thing that we didn't pack and thing to consider? Workout clothes. Not that I'm gonna work out. That's totally not what I'm gonna do, but what would you suggest for someone who's like, nope, I work out every single day of the week? That's a really good question. So I would definitely say swap out a few of your tops and your bottoms. Some workout tops almost look like dressy tops. Like you could dress them up. They could be yeah. both your sports bra, you wash it, and then it becomes your night out. Like, All right, okay. I got some stuff here. I'm gonna have to add the undergarments and socks later. But I guess what I have to do, guys, is I'm gonna have to put this in a in my bag and let you guys know if it fits. If you guys have any any questions for Amy, just drop them down below. Give her a message. I won't speak for you, but my guess is she loves interaction. She loves DMs. She loves answering questions. If you ever need a private consultation about wardrobe, downsizing, minimalism, packing for a trip, your go-to girl, and, and she's wonderful. Is there anything you want to add or say? I love doing this. I love helping when they just have someone else that I them or talk mm -hmm. to them and they kind of get an opener about like, oh, this is a really good uh, way of looking at it. I didn't think about it this way. I just feel like when the woman feels so confident in themselves mm -hmm. and that they can take that ownership of like, I know this is what works for me and I, and I really want to go for that route, then go for it. And then just feel so confident in the end and then they feel more relieved. They mm -hmm. don't feel stressed out. And that's what I really aim for is helping women not become stressed out. A lot of things going on in their life and I'm here to help alleviate that stress. Yeah. Really appreciate Mackenzie. Such an amazing person. <laughs> and She's an amazing friend, really, for sure. And uh, I'm so happy to do this collaboration with her. So. Yes, awesome. Yeah. It's so good. Well, guys, thank you so much. If you like this video, if you like Amy, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss a moment, and go and follow her on the IG, please. We'll talk soon. See you guys. Bye. This is where we are at right now. I definitely can't zip it, but... 
what Amy and I just discussed is I need to wear a pair of shoes, I need to wear a pair of pants, and I need to wear a shirt to New Hampshire. So we're going to pull one of each out, and I think we'll have plenty of space for toiletries and undergarments. What do you think? Quick debrief. I had so much fun with Amy. Some things I would have changed for myself, which I will do, and then you guys will see those outfits, is, you know, in editing and rewatching the videos, Amy kept saying, you know, pop of color and pattern. And I think in my head, I was so concerned about not being able to make enough outfits out of, you know, so many pieces that I avoided that. And now I'm like, hmm, I want to add that back in. So I think what I'm going to do is swap out a couple pieces for some fancy pants which are in the wash and the more I think the more I want to change up the outfits but what I love is I now have that tool where I can do the five four three two one like it's it's really great that my brain can now start thinking colors and patterns that match and can swap and be versatile to last 14 days and I'm going to challenge myself to have 14 different outfits